One of the most important concepts to understand in this chapter is the idea of common law. So let's talk about common law versus civil law. So common law is based on English law and found in Britain and many of Britain's former colonies, including the United States. Common law states that courts must rule similarly to previous similar decisions. And so that's the idea of stare decisis. Civil law is found in most of Europe, and in civil law, courts make decisions on a case-by-case -case basis, so there's no need to follow a precedent. Okay, so let's talk about the idea of precedent and stare decisis. Stare decisis is Latin for let the decision stand. Generally, courts must follow the precedent of a previous case if the case is substantially similar to the previous case and the case is in the same jurisdiction as the previous case. So, for example, if one case is about cars and another case is about bicycles, maybe they're not similar enough to say that one case is a precedent for the other. Similarly, if one decision happens in California and another one is in Colorado, those won't necessarily have to follow the precedent of each other. Now, there are some exceptions to stare decisis. Courts may rule differently from a previous decision if there is a change in the statute. So, for example, if the court rules one way and then the legislature changes the law, that could mean that the previous court decision is no longer a precedent. Also, technological advances may make previous decisions obsolete. And finally, sometimes norms and values in society at large change, and that can also lead to the Supreme Court or other courts ruling differently than the precedent.